Today, we're going to drop the gas tank on a 2011 Chevy Traverse. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do is lift the car up and secure the front and the rear with some jack stands. And I have the jack back there supporting the rear, just for extra support. And you're gonna need a series of tools. I don't really know what kind of tools we're gonna be needing until we get the job done, but there's a set of sockets, a couple of flatheads, a couple of uh, pliers, needle nose, channel locks, and the impact. And just in case the impact doesn't do it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so it looks like there's just gonna be two sockets you're gonna be using, a size 15. You get that bolt, this bolt, and this bolt off for the bracket that's holding on to the gas tank. And you're gonna need a deep socket 10. I don't have a deep socket. I lost it. <laughs> just like everybody, this is a size 10. Size 10s are ridiculous they always get lost anyways so we're gonna have to remove this cover here in the front these are where all the gas lines and everything's connected to and there's a series of nuts and screws ouch I think I just scraped myself in the metal well I know I did but anyways one two three and four so we'll go ahead and remove those with the size 10 piece of shit scratch me up good and then we'll remove that cover from the front that's the rear so we'll remove this cover real quick I haven't seen this enough already. And just put those in a nice safe location. Like so, see the music. I like know that. And here she comes. So a little stuck on this one here from being over tightened. I'm going to just move that to the side for now. Then I'll get it out. But now we have access to our lines here. All this stuff. All right, now that we have access to all of this, uh, we could actually use a flathead to push this in. And then work the top one down. See, there's two of them. Uh, and with this side, you can actually use like a needle nose because uh, you have to push this one up to unlock it. And then this one is just a pigtail. You just press that down, disconnect it. Uh, be careful when you do do these two lines; it will leak gasoline. Yeah, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this first line. I need to pull the back like this. Into the flathead up to push it forward. And it wants to, but it doesn't. There it is. I guess there's no gas on that one.
There's the gas. There's the gas. Yucky. Shit is stinky. Don't the smell of it though. <laughs> Then this one here, we just push down, like that. Sweet, we're done with this section. Go ahead and go to the rear. All right, so before we go to the back of the car, there's actually a pigtail right here. Let's zoom out a little bit. So let's go ahead and undo this pigtail. And just pull forward on this and pull it down. This and we'll just have to do it from here, just like so. And hopefully, we can pass this through. There it goes. All right, so now let's go into the rear. another one here so let's go ahead and disconnect this one let's see if I can do it without any tools sweet all right now we are gonna need a tool for this one so we're gonna loosen up the filler neck here and here that way we're able to move this hose back and forth and break it loose from this side here and take it off there's also another pigtail. I believe it's this one here. So let's go ahead and disconnect this one for now. Let's see. I might need to get a better view of it. All right. I'll figure that out right now. But that's the one we're going to disconnect right here. Um. We were disconnected here, so now I'm gonna loosen this one up. But first, I'm gonna take that pigtail off. All right, I got that pigtail disconnected, and this is where that flat hair comes into play. All right, so now, well, I guess it came into play when I removed the other one. But now, creeper ball jack. on with the process all right and this is where your channel locks come into play uh, grab it here and with your other hand once you have both of them loose twist it and with the channel locks go ahead and help it uh, you will be leaking some gas here so after you break this hose loose Go ahead and retighten this one up just so it doesn't leak any more gas um, which probably won't matter because it's kind of flushed so as soon as we take this off it's gonna drop gas but we'll go ahead and stop this leakage for now all right so I was prepping these screws just for the video um, so I could just use the impact and drive them out but I just wanted to show you guys how tight these are so they're pretty tight have my foot on the wheel. Fuck! That shit is tight as fuck. So, now I have them all three loose. And I should be able to drive them out with the impact. Easy peasy. Sweet. So let's go ahead. And the process that I'm gonna do, or the way I'm gonna do it, is because I think it has quite a bit of fuel in there. Uh, I'm gonna start on this bracket here and move on to the rear so the gas tank drops like this. And I'll be able to kind of like pull it out while it's still tilted so the gas doesn't spill out the uh, filler neck. So let's go ahead and start taking off those brackets. Go ahead and drop it.
Oh, wow. This bitch is gonna be heavy as fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> out. Shit. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking we should maybe just drive it until it's empty. <laughs> fuck, that feels heavy as fuck. I'm scared it's gonna mess up these brackets. heavy and they're telling me it's a full tank this tank is so full it's slicky <laughs> look at all that I put the jack underneath it with this mat to kind of support it I was trying to take a little crown off but it has a big ass X on it so I'm gonna take these other two bolts off and cross my fingers Alright, so here's the second bracket. Let me get this one out of the way as well. Here comes the last one. Mm, I really don't want to record this moment because it's going to make a lot of mess. This video is going to turn into a freaking meme. We'll see what happens. So I remove the last bracket and what's holding it up is the jack and this also here. So I'm gonna slowly go to the jack. Hopefully everything comes out good. So those were the moments that I should have actually recorded. It fell off the jack as I was lowering it. Everything came undone. The gas didn't spill like I thought it was. That shit is heavy as fuck. Can't even pull that underneath it. So let me see. Let's go ahead and remove the whole gas tank out of there. There it is. 
That is how you drop the gas tank on a 2011 Chevy Traverse. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.